your heart is so full of hatred, you are not fit to be a king. What if we told you that Eyes of Wakanda might introduce the MCU's first Black Panthers, Bashenga and Mozi? And get this, their debut could even involve the prehistoric Avengers. Plus, these ancient heroes could set the stage for three new heroes in the present day. It might sound like a lot, but don't worry, we've got all the juicy details on the upcoming Eyes of Wakanda for you. Eyes of Wakanda, a Black Panther spin-off, has been officially confirmed for the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and some exciting details about the project are already out. Chadwick Boseman first brought the MCU's Black Panther to life in Captain America Civil War back in 2016, before headlining the 2018 blockbuster Black Panther. That film became one of the MCU's biggest hits, even earning a Best Picture Oscar nomination, still the only MCU movie to do so, and becoming a cultural milestone. After Bozeman's tragic passing, Shuri took over as the MCU's new Black Panther, filling her brother T'Challa's shoes. Shuri went on to battle and defeat Namor in Black Panther Wakanda Forever, and Letitia Wright's Shuri is expected to remain Wakanda's protector if Marvel greenlights Black Panther 3. In the lead-up to and following Wakanda Forever's release, there were plenty of rumors about new projects that would expand the Black Panther universe. Among the rumors were potential spin-offs centered on Wakanda and Okoye. Now, Marvel Studios has officially confirmed Eyes of Wakanda as the first Black Panther spin-off in the MCU. At an event promoting the debut of Marvel's What If Season 2 in December, it was announced that the first Black Panther spin-off to hit screens would be Eyes of Wakanda. The choice to reveal this during a What If event makes sense, as Eyes of Wakanda will also be an animated series. This announcement seems to distinguish Eyes of Wakanda from the Black Panther spin-off that was reported back in 2021, which was said to be an Okoye origin series. Instead, Eyes of Wakanda will explore multiple characters rather than focusing on just one. Eyes of Wakanda might have just been announced, but it's not far off from hitting our screens. Marvel has confirmed that the MCU's first Black Panther spin-off will premiere in 2024. Like all Marvel Studios produced animated shows, Eyes of Wakanda will be available on Disney+. It's part of a packed slate for the platform, with other animated series like X-Men 97, Your Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man, and Marvel Zombies also set to release in 2024 alongside Eyes of Wakanda. Eyes of Wakanda could bring some exciting new characters into the MCU. One of the most intriguing possibilities is the introduction of a character known for assembling a special team of Avengers. This series is unique because it spans various eras of Wakanda's history but it's still set within the main MCU timeline, Earth-616. That means anything we learn about the past in Eyes of Wakanda could connect to the live-action movies and shows. We've already seen how the Avengers initiative was born in The Avengers and Captain Marvel, where Nick Fury was inspired by Carol Danvers' victory over the Kree. But there have been plenty of other superhero teams in the MCU too, like the Midnight Suns and the upcoming Young Avengers. Eyes of Wakanda might give us a whole new twist on this by introducing a team of ancient Avengers, long before Iron Man and Captain America's squad ever existed. The show's synopsis teases that it will follow Wakandan warriors across different time periods, who are tasked with retrieving dangerous vibranium artifacts around the world. One of these warriors could very well be Bashenga, Wakanda's first Black Panther, who was mentioned by Killmonger's father in Black Panther. In both the comics and the MCU, Bashenga is the one who first discovers the vibranium meteorite and, after communicating with the panther goddess Bast, becomes the first to ingest the heart-shaped herb. He unites Wakanda's tribes and creates the legacy of the Black Panther. Another warrior who could appear is Mozi, who takes up the Black Panther mantle after Bashenga. In the comics, Mozi has a pretty wild encounter with Odin, even lifting Mjolnir at one point. Odin is so impressed that he forms a friendship with Mosey, leading to the creation of an ancient team of Earth-based heroes thousands of years before Thor ever met the Avengers. There's even a possibility that Eyes of Wakanda could bring in Bashenga and Mosey as part of the MCU's prehistoric Avengers. In the comics, Mosey helps Odin assemble the first-ever Avengers team, known as the Avengers 1 million BC, 
long before the current day heroes we know. This ancient squad includes some heavy hitters like the first Sorcerer Supreme Agamotto and the original Moon Knight, also known as the first Fist of Khonshu. In Marvel's timeline, this team of prehistoric Avengers takes on some massive threats, including Zagreb the Aspirant, a celestial who gets infected by parasitic monsters called the Horde. Alongside Odin, Agamotto, and others, Mosey fights to protect the Earth from this dangerous foe. They also take on Loki's father, Lofi, and even time travel villains like Doctor Doom and Mephisto. Eventually, these prehistoric Avengers pass the torch to new heroes over the centuries. Odin, for instance, shifts his focus to ruling Asgard and raising his son Thor. But the legacy of this first Avengers team leaves a lasting impact on the world, setting the stage for the modern-day Avengers we know. So, if Eyes of Wakanda introduces Mosey and Bashenga, we might also get a glimpse of this ancient team in action. The MCU's prehistoric Avengers could pave the way for three new heroes in the modern day. Mosey, Odin, Agamotto, and Moon Knight aren't the only key players in the Avengers 1 million BC lineup. Firehair, the earliest known host of the Phoenix Force, was actually the one who first suggested gathering Earth's mightiest heroes to protect the planet from massive threats like the Phoenix Force. Alongside Odin, Firehair also recruits an early host of the Spirit of Vengeance, aka Ghost Rider, and Fan Fei, the world's first Iron Fist. While Eyes of Wakanda could introduce the Avengers 1 million BC through Bashanga and Mosey, the series might not spend too much time on this ancient team. However, even just a brief cameo from heroes like Firehair, Fan Fei, and Ghost Rider could lay the groundwork for bringing in modern day heroes like Jean Grey, Danny Rand, Colleen Wing, Johnny Blaze, and Robbie Reyes, whose origins could be tied to these prehistoric legends. So, Eyes of Wakanda could not only introduce Bashanga and Mosey, but also hint at the origins of some of the MCU's most iconic modern day heroes. While Eyes of Wakanda might not dive deep into Mosey's adventures with the Avengers 1 million BC, it could still give us a glimpse of his interactions with cosmic characters like Odin, the Phoenix Force, the Celestials, and the Eternals. This would mesh well with the MCU's cosmic storylines. Odin's ties to Midgard could be further explored, Jean Grey's story could be set up well before her own MCU debut, and we might get to see the Eternals and Celestials in an earlier timeline, filling the gap before Eternals and any potential prequels or sequels. A series like this is perfect for exploring these grand ideas without needing a blockbuster budget, especially with the extraterrestrial origins of Wakanda's vibranium, the history of the Black Panthers, and the mystical arts, all intriguing concepts for an animated MCU series. And that's that for today's video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Your suggestions for future videos are always welcome in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to stay in the loop. Also, let us know what you think about the potential for Eyes of Wakanda to explore the MCU's ancient cosmic characters and whether you're excited about seeing Bashanga and Mosey's debut. Share your thoughts in the comments.